runs driven in. And that breaking ball does not break. Right into a 50 average. No homers yet. And he's going to hit one out towards right, and that's going to fall in front of Evans. So how about the Ospreys coming into Gainesville? First and third, nobody out as Klein comes through. And look at that batting average, 421. That is the best on the team. And excuse me, swing. This is going to be a tough play. But Rivera, the Gator shortstop, will be able to make a good job of getting an out. So the lefties have the advantage here at the ballpark. Good pitch up and away. And Nesbitt's going to get his first start of the year. So we'll see what he can do with it. Here's a slow roller out towards third. Halter will come get it, and his throw on the run is in time to retire the front. But he can't catch up to some fastballs, and there's a good start. Well, Borowski forces another Gator to chase up in the zone. So Caglione goes the other way with this one, but it is right to where Fletcher Klein was playing, and a nice easy one, two, three inning. Team down by one. Klein tries to go the other way, and it will fall in front of Fabian. So Fletcher Klein, who had... And he goes into left field for another base hit. So back-to-back -back singles, and the hits just continue to come for the Osprey. 3-2 pitch, and that one is a towering shot out towards left. Fabian trying to battle the sun. He will be able to and make the catch. On his fastball for a strike. Yep. Went with a breaking ball and yeah. got him. Yeah, I mean, if you're not throwing your fastball first, to be successful. That one hit hard and fair down the left field line. So Ryish will rattle the one around in the corner. Klein will score. Runnels to stop at second. And Kate Ryish with a big. That one hit hard, but right at Halter. And the throw across is in plenty of time to retire the side. Miss a few weeks. 3-2 again. This one should be playable. Pound in foul territory. Now Sweat, the second baseman, runs over, and he makes a nice sliding catch for out number one. That one hit hard, but right at Pound. And the first baseman will win the foot race to the bag. He got one, but he popped it up. Mile high on the infield. Who's going to get it? It's the guy with the big glove. Blake Pound, and it's tonight. And that one right at Jamison. He'll find it, recover, and get the out. But how about Fletcher Klein? That's three hard hit balls. And six so far. Doing some good things, and he puts a hold of this one. But ballpark will hold it as Robertson will drift back in straightaway center field for the second out. So now the 3 2, and he got him. Good fastball, and Florida finally gets one. 3-2 to Rivera. There is the first. Another breaking ball, and that one's going to sneak through right off the end of the bat. Rivera was going on contact, so he's going to get to third base. So the Gators not only get their first base runner in the end. Three. Hits one hard, but backhanded play by Lodi's, and it won't be in time trying to get him out. So Evan should have a single. The Gators will have their first run. He gets a fastball and pops it straight up. Right behind the plate is Runnels, and he will make the catch. He didn't even want to get rid of the mass, so he strikes. And there it was, and Holter did try to go that way with it, but it's picked up by the third baseman on to first, and not enough time, but a good job by Clemens. How good those guys are. Lastris goes to right center field. Leinenbach trying to run it down. He will not. The Gators tie the game and now lead the game as Ty Evans will come all the way around. Lastris is going to get himself a triple. And for the first time tonight, the Gators take the lead. Robertson hits it hard, and the Gators are going to get another run as he singles in between the first and second baseman. And Michael Robertson has now reached base in all 16 games this year. And Curlin will try to keep it going. Well, there you go again, and this time a good throwing lane by Pound, and Sweat will apply the tag. Not too shabby. And this one right off the end of the bat, a comebacker to Ficarota, and he will just take it himself. Why? Because pitchers are the best athletes. No reason to flip it over there. Ooh, that one flipped right to Riopel. 
Glove save and a beauty. From really nice job of keeping hitters off balance. Back over the top and that one right to Curlin. So an easy one, two, three inning for Nick Ficarota. Curlin's been swinging it very, very well, but he rolls one over to the third baseman. Nice job by Clemens to cut it off, but an even better pick by Pound for out number one towards right. That one is pulled, but right where Sweat was playing in shallow right field, but Cags is going to beat it. Well, it was good. It wasn't close. And the Gators have the first two on. And how about that? What a bunt down the third base line. But Clements is going to throw him out here. And he's going to have a couple of more. Caglione will score. Rivera around in third, heading for home. He's a brown-eyed, handsome man. And how about Ty Evans, three RBI now, and he... Fabian smokes one, and that'll fall in front of Klein. Gets away, so that's going to allow Evans to try to get to third, and he will. So a good read by Evans on a ball in front of him. Part of the order. That's what, again, helps make this lineup so deep. Ball in the dirt. So they will try to score and will. So Fabian breaks for second. That means Evans says, I'll try to make my way home. And he does. And the Gators will steal another. Big swing and a miss there by Halter Roca. That one right to Curlin. And the Gators' second baseman will throw out. He's 0 for 3. And that one's right to Ryapel. The old PFP works. Get back with it. They did. And they got him. So, Ficarota. There's that fastball, and he got him. So, good job there by Roca. He slowed things down. And, the and we'll try to get Rivera. Josh goes right back up the middle. Ricochets off of Roca's glove. Right to Sweat. Could, uh, <laughs> could figure it out. Yeah. Well, that one's popped straight up the chute into foul territory. Roca and Clements, and it will be Clements now this year. Jams Reich and Halter on the run makes a perfect throw over to Ryapel for out number one. Gators do have one on their roster right now as Neely just misses with a fastball much to one sport. There's a nasty slider, and Neely... Little flare to right, Evans trying to get there, and he's going to drop the ball. Looks like he had it in his glove and then was trying to transfer it very quickly, but it's popped up. Curlin out, Evans coming in, but it'll be Curlin this time, and he will corral it with two hands to end the ball game. So the Gators get their 16th win, and they finish up non-conference play at 16-3. 14-3 and three here at home, and they have now won 12 of the last 13 against UNF.